Hello everybody, welcome to another Blender tutorial on this channel. In the previous video, you learned how to shape the profile. In this video, I am going to show you a very easy way to model a vase. I am going to learn you a very easy workflow, so you will be more productive. First of all, we are going to use our base file. Open it. If you do not have this base file, follow the previous tutorials. There will be a link in this video. The first thing we need to do is place the 3D cursor in the center. Shift S and select Cursor to World Origin. Check if the pivot point is set to 3D Cursor. If not, change it using the drop down menu. In the Outliner, right click on the scene and add a new collection. Name this collection Base or something you prefer. Drag the profile and the path into this new collection like so. Select the profile, tab into edit mode, press V to change the handle type, change it to vector. Select the bottom handle and press E to extrude. Remember that you can never make a 90 degree corner, always add two points. Since we have our pivot point set to 3D cursor and the 3D cursor is at the center, we can just scale by pressing S and constrain to X axis by pressing X. Don't scale to the center just yet. These shortcuts might look daunting at first, but trust me, once you learn them, you will be a Blender master. Once this is done, we will copy this setup and change the duplicate. That way, we can always return to this base collection. Right click on the base collection, choose duplicate, give the new collection a new name. You can hide the base collection by hitting the eye icon next to it. This will hide it from the view, but it will show in the render. You can extrude a point or you can subdivide a section. Remember, if you do not like the fishbone, switch to 2D. This is the profile, so it does not matter if it's 2D or 3D. To subdivide a section, select the two points, press W, choose subdivide. If you want to see the distribution of the faces and vertices, select the path, go into viewport display and select wireframe. Now you can see the arrangement of the vertices and faces. Go ahead, play with the handles. If you want to have a mesh, you need to convert the curve to a mesh. Maybe make a copy first, that way you still have the curve set up for later. In object mode, go to object. Select convert to. Select mesh from curve. One quick tip, always clean your mesh. Select all vertices, press W, merge by distance. That way you do not have any double vertices. Because we did not scale to the center, there is a hole in the middle. Most of the times this will not be seen. But let us close it up anyway. Select the vertices and press F. This way we will fill it with an end gun. And we can add loop cuts to the surrounding faces. Now you can add modifiers. Add a subdivision modifier. Add a solidify modifier and at last add a bevel modifier. This is a very easy exercise in modeling with curves. In the next episode, I will learn you more new tricks about modeling with curves. If you like this tutorial, please like it so others can see it also. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, I am more than happy to answer them. You can also subscribe to this channel or share this video on your social media.
Thank you for watching and see you next time.